Hello guys and welcome to my final recipe of the year for baking. I showed you how to make the Christmas recipes or the last tutorial so if you haven't seen it yet please do check it and make one of the recipes I taught you this year yeah so I'm going to be showing you how to make the gluten free cherry brownies over in the yard I got 165 grams of dark chocolate and add it to that I got 165 grams of butter we're just going to let it melt over a gently low simmering water over a low heat The chocolate is melting and now the include the butter as well as melting the chocolate. Just melt the two together, stirring often until it is fully melted. What you may be able to hear of is the simmering water. Once the butter is melted, you can take it off the heat. Next we're going to do is add 190 grams of brown sugar. And then add 3 eggs. Once you've added the three eggs, you could give it a whisk for three to four minutes until it is pale and fluffy.
ones you've mixed in with the mixer are medium to high and it's got the pale and fluffy mixture what you want to do is to gently pour this in with the mixture what you want is to have the chocolate mixture along with the what mixture you're wasting So what you can do is, is to combine gently with the rubber spatula until it has a chocolatey texture. What you're about to say is that I'm um, just combining with the the spatula that just shows what kind of chocolate decay mixture it is before you start adding the cocoa powder Can you see how chocolate is it, it is? From its chocolate, from its egg and sugar mixture to this chocolatey texture and a mixture of it. Next thing is we're going to add 20 grams of unsweetened cocoa powder and to that 75 grams of gluten free plain flour this is going to the gluten free cherry brownie like I said After you sift the cocoa and the gluten free flour, just combine it until it has no lumps of cocoa and flour remaining. Once you mix the cocoa and the flour you're just going to add these small chopped cherries <coughs> and mix it all in until it looks like a brownie Once you're done preparing and mixing the brownie batter, you can just put it in the 8 inch brownie tin. This is a recipe that I'm going to be showing you.
was a May. Once you put the butter in this, this tin, you're going to sprinkle the remaining half cherries in the, in the tin along with the butter. Now you're going to put this in the oven 200 degrees Celsius. 400 degrees Fahrenheit for, t for 20 minutes until it is until it is has a crack around the edges and still very wobbly so pause the video now until you have the perfect brownie Wow, well, look at this brownie. It is made with chocolate and it has a cherry on top, some half cherries. If you want to have a go at this recipe, that's fine. So, I hope you have this brownie to have a go at. So, don't forget to subscribe and what other recipes you can come up after the new year yeah so uh, have a go at the other recipes for this year yeah so bye happy new year yeah